Okay, so I run you through just real quick the different frame options. Now, the next thing we want to do is figure out how to hook up all these electronics to it. Uh, might look a little bit confusing to you uh, to look at to look at this and seeing this all wired up together, but it's actually quite easy. I'll run you through it, and you should be able to get a good understanding of this. Different ways, different steps you can follow to put this together. I tend to like to put my motors on first on my frame, and I move my way towards the the front, the, the center of the board with the motors. And what I'm going to do essentially is just you know follow the whole patterns, screw the motors on, and then what you're going to have is three wires for your motors. All right, and then on the ESC itself. One end of the ESC is always going to have three wires as well, right? Now, if you notice, you'll notice that on this end, these ends are male, these ends are female. This is simply because there's no current in there when it's unplugged, and while these are hot, this is you're going to have power in there. So you always want to have the hot side um, of a connection using male, uh, sorry, female connectors, so that if they were to touch, uh, like so, if they were male female you're not going to have contact and so this is going to keep your system safer um, so now let's just try to understand this real quick here on the ESC you're going to have three wires on one end which you're going to connect to your motors right and let's see I'll connect them now it's going to connect like this using bullet bullet connectors 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors you may have to solder these on yourself on Many of the motors and ESCs will come without the bullet connectors connected. And they look like this, right? This is the female end. Let me get a male end here to show you. Right, a male end will look more something like this. And uh, you want to use heat shrink on top of them. Do not use electric tape. It's no good. You're going to run into trouble using electric tape. So make sure you get the proper heat shrink to put over your bullet connectors. And they're quite easy to use. Now, you may be wondering, well, which motor, which wire will go where? Well, at this point, we don't worry about that. We're just going to connect each of these wires onto the three connections on the ESC. And we're not going to worry which way is which. We're just going to plug any three wires together. And then on the other end of the ESCs, you're going to have a red wire, a black wire, and then a little three wire black red and white like this so this is the positive this is the negative and this is your signal wire that's going to go to your kk2 board now, if you look at a battery you're going to also going to see a red and a black wire All right now in order to what you want to do is essentially is plug each four esc's red wire right they need to connect to this red wire and the battery and each black wire from the ESCs are going to need to connect to this black wire. Now to do that there are two options. You can build a power harness or you can use a distribution board. In my case I'm using a distribution board for this quadcopter and it's quite easy to use because they're identified. You see the positive, negative, positive, negative. And usually you will have two of them that will have a slightly bigger soldering pad and they're going to be for your battery. Uh, connector again if you look here this battery connector here has got the male end on this end because when the battery is unhooked it is unplugged this there's no power in there whereas this is hot this current in there so we want the female end on the battery male end on this side now in order to connect your ESC's it's simple you just bring your wire to pass holes connect all the black wires to negative pads and all the red wires from the ESCs to positive pads. It's that simple. From there, once your battery connector is connected also to a minus and positive pads, when you hook up the battery on there, you're going to have power being distributed to each ESCs, positive and negative, through this. Um, now, this is one way to do this. And just to, just so you know, I hooked up my battery power, my my battery wire here. To the battery uh, plus and minus lead here but it doesn't have to be here any of these plus or minus connectors on this distribution board on most distribution board in fact 
once you hook up plus and minus from your battery on there each pads are going to be connected in parallel to it so I could have this battery lead here hooked up to this plus and minus here if I wanted to it would do the exact same thing each of these plus would then be powered up through the battery and so on and so forth now this is one option to connect this the other option if you don't not using a distribution board is to build a power harness and what you're going to want to do is this let me get a pen here uh, where do I have a pen somewhere up here let's see that these these are my four ESC's here one two three these are my four ESC's and this is the the connector that you see here right this is the connector that I'm going to install to connect to these four ESC's simple enough each red wire is going to go to this one here and then you want to have a solder point here and lead that with one lead to your battery connector so it would look like this one two three four ESC's going in parallel to a solder point here and one lead going to your battery connector which would be here and then you want to do the same thing with the black leads we have four black leads going one two three four black leads solder point here and a lead going to your battery there so it would look like this one two three four ESC's solder point right here going to your battery connector here this is your battery connector so if you can see here you've got your four ESC's right plus and minus leads going to the battery right and this is essentially once you hook up the battery here right each plus and minus from the ESC plus and minus four of them for each are going to this is going to power up your ESC's that simple now these solar points here or here I want to be quite big so you shouldn't be using a cheap little solder gun like this because you I would really worry about having cold solder points with this so you'd want to use a, a decent uh, soldering station like this where you can really get high heat heat that up real good to make sure that the soldering is going to go right through your wires and connect that nice and tight uh, you may be able to get away with using a cheap solder gun like this if you use a distribution board but again make sure that you heat these guys as much as you can when you solder them so they don't come apart under vibration because that means trouble if you're in the air or whatnot okay so now what I, did just, what I just did is showed you how to hook up your motors to your ESC's and I showed you how to hook up the ESC's right to a distribution board or to a battery connector uh, while using a power harness that you would build yourself using wires instead of a distribution board now what we want to wonder about now is next thing we're going to have is that we want to power this up as well this board's going to need power to it so how is this going to get power to it it's going to get the power to it from these connectors here so what are these four wires here now they are the signal wires from each ESC's remember one ESC three wires to the motors positive negative and then you have the signal wire okay now I've got me four signal wires here from four different ESC's and I've labeled them number one two three four so what are these number come from well it's, it's because I'm using an X copter configuration and what that means is the board the, 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 the quad copter is going to fly forward and backward like this left and right like this and for this there's a special uh, like a specific motor layout which you can look at the layout once you've got the, the KK board connected I'll run you through it later but this is going to be number one motor number two motor number three motor number four which corresponds to ESC number one two three four right now let's me go ahead and install the kick oh sorry there's one more here this little wire here it's tiny I hooked that, that up to my plus on my power harness in this case it's not a power harness like this it's a distribution board I got 
uh, positive current going through that wire from the battery and this is going to be for the low voltage alarm on a KK2 board which will connect to this point here on the KK2 board um, there's, uh, basically I installed a pin on there and a little connector on there but uh, a lot of people what they do is they j will just solder this wire right to that solder point there instead of doing that myself I soldered a pin on there so I can unplug it, plug it back or unplug it as I wish so let me go ahead and put the board on there now just real quick give me a second install that on there stand offs okay now the buttons are always towards the back so this is going to fly forward like this backward like this left and right here are my buttons towards me on the right hand side is where your ESC wires are going to connect there are eight of them one two three four five six seven eight you only need four because you only got four motors you know you can connect up to eight ESC's to this board with an X configuration you need only four and it's going to be the first second third one and it's easy the order of them for X copter configuration is one two three four so you go to number one and you connect that to the first one at the front the white wire is going to go towards the inside and then from there is followed red and black and the first one is called M1 meaning motor one is what will draw power from your BEC or your ESC and it will power the KK2 board so as soon as I connect this wire here from the ESC number one or motor number one and when I connect my battery it's going to send electricity through this wire onto the KK2 board now I've got power in the KK2 board and the other four the other three sorry are just for signal right for uh, motor one two three four so I'm going to go ahead and connect them here again white wire towards the LCD number three white wire towards the inside black wire on the outside and there you go, I got number one, two, three, four hooked up as one, two, three, four on there with my white wires towards the inside, which is my signal pins on the KK2 board. Okay, so now what I just did, oh, and here's my little wire here for my low voltage alarm. I'll just spin that around like this, like that there on my pin. Here. there you go and now I've got my low voltage um, connector connected to KK2 board from a plus wire to my pin here my solder point here on the KK2 board okay so now I've got my four motors hooked up to the ESC's right with three wires each and I've got each of my positive wires for the ESC is hooked up to my distribution board on a positive pad black wires all hooked up to negative pads on my distribution board then I got my battery lead here which again the red one is on a positive pad the black one on a negative pad I got my KK2 board installed and I've got all my ESC's connected all I got left to do now is put a receiver on there and the receiver will connect to this side here I'm going to do that in the next video I'm going to show you how to connect a receiver to this and then I'm going to also talk to you about uh, different things you're going to want to do uh, before you put on propellers on there and try to go fly with this so stay tuned for the next video